Thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. This is an eye round. For the past four years, I have dedicated many experiments to try to make this steak turn out fantastic. Regardless of the end result, I always learn something new. And most importantly, I have yet to find out the best way to make this cut of steak enjoyable. However, I believe that ends today, as I'll be doing something that I've never tried before. It's called the velveting method. This is what a lot of Asian restaurants uses to make steaks more tender. And hopefully this will work out on $1 steaks. So let's begin. To make the velveting marinade is very simple. First, you combine two egg whites, followed by two tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and three of rice wine. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients together, as that is all it takes to make the velveting marinade. Now, in theory, this should do two things. Makes the steaks more tender, and most importantly, give it a nice, incredible crust. However, we're gonna do this with the big boy. We're talking about the eye round. And just like any other eye round you get on the supermarket, the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and trim it. Then I go ahead and take out the first tip and start to cut my steaks. I'm looking for about one inch thick each one. As you can see, once I was done with the butchering, this is what I was left with. Some nice $1 steaks ready to be cooked. And a closer look reveals that this cut is not tender. Look at the size of the fibers. Yes, it is a chewing gum. But let's see if we can fix this. As now, the next step is to go ahead and marinate it. For that, I throw two steaks into the bag and threw my marinade right inside. Vacuum sealed it and it was now ready to rest for 24 hours. Now, as I control, I'm going to be doing something different, and that means to use dry brine. For that, it's super simple. All you got to do is to season it with salt and then let it rest in the refrigerator overnight. As both steaks were marinating, it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make an incredible side dish. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to let anything go to waste. So I'm going to be using the rest of the eye round to make this. I mean, come on now. If you don't like this, you are not human. And the best part to make it, it is super simple. And here's how. Since I'll be using the eye round, the first thing I gotta do is to go ahead and grind up the beef. For that, I like to use a measurement of 80% lean and 20% fat. This is what I was left with. Perfect ground beef. Now, the next thing to do is to go ahead and season it. For that, I threw in some shallots, followed by fresh parsley, diced roasted bell peppers, one egg, garlic paste, a good amount of salt, followed by black pepper. Mix everything well and combine those ingredients until everything is fully mixed. Now, the next thing to do is to go ahead and fill up half of the flour tortilla with it. Adding this is an easy task. And honestly, just make sure you make enough for your family. Because the next thing to do is the easiest one of them all, and that is to cook it up. For that, I added some avocado oil onto the pan and laid the tortilla right on the bottom. Now, the key here is to cook it under low heat. If not, things are just gonna burn and the ground beef will not cook all the way through. You barely want it to sizzle. Just like this, bubbling up a little bit is good enough. It should take anywhere between 8 minutes to 10 minutes to cook each. As once it's done, this is what you're left with. Throw in some green parsley right on top for coloring and you are left with an incredible side dish. Now I wanted to do an extra step, so I went ahead and made a simple sauce to go along with it. For that, into a bowl I threw in some sour cream, followed by garlic paste, horseradish, and a little bit of sriracha and mixed it well. Then to finish it up, I added salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper, a little bit of parsley, and that's it. My sauce was done. Now this is the perfect combination to go along with that incredible side dish, because by this time my $1 steaks should now be ready. After I opened it up and put it on a cooling rack, now I can actually hold it on my hands. And I'll tell you one thing, this thing feels tender, really tender. However, even though it feels like the tenderness worked, I'm really curious to find out if the taste has been modified completely. Because take a look at both steaks side by side. The dry brine still looks nice and red, the velveting one not so much. But what really matters is what it feels like when we're eating it. So I went ahead and finished seasoning both of them. I did salt on the velveting one, and then in all of them a good amount of black pepper and garlic powder. Now they are ready to be grilled. Talking about that first, I'll put a nice wonderful sear. And yes, I'll be using some butter. Because once that's done, I'll cook them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook $1 steak. So let's do it.
Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. For those New Year's goals, HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget. With delicious recipes delivered right to your door. With HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious. With over 35 weekly recipes, they have the options you're looking for to help you achieve your goals. Choose calorie smart and carb smart recipes, or even customize select meals by swiping proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins, or adding proteins to a veggie dish. HelloFresh's Festive Fair collection features limited time recipes made with seasonal produce and premium proteins. Get out of the post-holiday slump with these elevated winter classics. And HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. It is a win-win for me. On my editing days, I always go to HelloFresh to balance my diet in a very easy way. Like this amazing dish right here. It's quick, it's fresh, it's healthy, and one of my favorite things, no prep waste since it's all pre-portioned. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code GOOGLEFOODS21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code GOOGLEFOODS21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steaks with a nice side dish today. What do you guys think? I'm glad that side dish is on that side of the table because if that was over here, I would demolish it. And I'm glad that the side dish is on this side of the table because that's definitely a cut of steak that I don't like that much. I cannot even fake it. You guys already know what this is. It is the $1 meat, the beautiful, the most incredible high round, everybody. That's what it is. That's not the description that I would give i don't even think leo would give that kind of description i would most definitely not give that type. <laughs> it looks like you know for just a second i thought it was a filet mignon and i realized it's like you know what iron looks like like you take a filet mignon and you flatten it <laughs> that's what that's what iron looks like that's a great description pancake filet mignon right there but i will say this it has an incredible flavor but it does not have any of the tenderness with that being said i have been obsessed trying to make this cut incredible and i I think I finally achieved that today. Today? Ooh, I think okay. so. Okay. I okay. think so. But I want your honest opinion. You guys let them know. And uh, you guys tell me. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Let's start with the side dish. Nah. Enough talking. Let's give this a go. We're going to go with this one first, please. Oh, you're switching it up on That's us, That's correct. Huh? Mm -hmm. I want you to notice I did not cut that thin. I cut it actually a little bit thicker to see about the tenderness. Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Say what you will about Iron. It is flavorful. You're gonna be chewing it for a while. <laughs> My jaw hurts. Already? No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this guy's a rookie. I just love the taste of Iron, but the tenderness is just not there. It's like a chewing gum together with a chancleta. With that being said, this tastes amazing, but there's no tenderness. The taste is really good. It's extremely beefy, which I think is where, why it's so delicious, but like the fibers are just so thick. You end up having to put so much effort to just constantly break them down and chew through them like we always say it's a great tasting steak but it's uh, uh an exercise to get it down <laughs> very good but i'm excited for you guys to try the second one so let's dig in oh, whoa 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 go, go 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 no 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 put that down you why because i we already exercise let's go ahead and take a little break with a we nice exercise. side dish i already know i already know oh man this try is the good. side dish i also made this with an eye round really enough talking cheers everybody cheers, cheers. oh it is amazing, everybody. This is a f***ing delicious side dish. Leo. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie. This is like top three side dishes. I really like the blend of like herbs and spices that you put inside the actual meat. It is ridiculously flavorful. Wow, I am astonished how good this is. There's like onions and stuff in here. Yeah, very little. But it's okay. I accept it. Absolutely delicious, easy to make, highly recommend everybody. Enough talking. Now, can we please go to the next one? All right. All right, all right please fine. dig in. Yes, let's know. I want, I'm curious. Is this the most tender eye round ever? I will say one. Thing it cuts nicely. Look at you, you had no problem cutting no, it. No, no, it feels it definitely feels more tender than the first one. All right, let's give it a go on this one. Give me your honest opinion. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. How about that? There's not a filet mignon. No, it's definitely a little bit more tender, but no night and day difference here. <laughs> Oh, still <laughs> chewing. I think the tenderness went up a little bit with the second steak. The taste is almost the same. It is not a filet mignon. It is not extremely more tender, but it is slightly tender, which makes it worth to do this kind of experiment. And I recommend you guys giving it a try. This steak here, which is the velveting steak, that's the technique, by the way, gets a much better crust than the one that it doesn't. You see the differences? So it's definitely something for you to give it a try. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Three, two, go!
After years perfecting it, it's finally available for purchase. Cookies Rub. My rub has been the go-to for many of you, and now this new revamped formula is better than ever. It's amazing on beef, pork, lamb, chicken, and my favorite, burgers. This rub is what I use in 90% of everything I cook. Get yours now at shopgoogafoods.com. The link will be on the description. Cookies Rub, baby. Get yours now at shop.googafoods.com. Link will be on the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.